Today we're going to be trying on clothes from a different place today called Sh Shider. <laughs> hey guys, today we're going to be doing a try on haul from Cider. Never been done before so it's going to be my first experience with them. Hopefully it goes well but if not then then we won't do it again from Cider. I'm wearing the first piece right now as usual. It's the Thai shoulder lace corset top. This was a little bit tricky to get on because this is completely able to untie and the back is a zipper. Zip the zipper first and then tie the two sides together. The great things about this though is that you could vary in your whatever this part length is and customize it to your body. But I definitely had a difficult time tying it on. This corset detail is actually kind of pretty. I'm not wearing a bra right now. You can't really see through so I'm pretty well covered. The bottom part here the lacy-ish part is kind of see-through it is kind of see-through here the picture definitely looked a lot better this is what the back looks like as you can see it completely unzips all the way so you could definitely have everything fall off if these were to untie as well so be very careful these have a satin finish so it has a very silky feeling but another great thing about this is that the higher you tie it the more up or lifted your boobs get so you can kind of have that boob lifting push-up bra effect on there so the way the model had it in the picture is that half the bow goes on the back and half the bow goes in the front so you have it like this I think it looks better and cuter in the picture but the fit wise I think it's like not bad design on the breast area I'm not that big of a fan of. So I also paired it with a skirt from Cider. It is called the Mocha Please Chic Mini Shorts and these are actually skorts. These are pants under. It has a button here to help secure this flap overlapping the shorts so that it looks more like a skirt in the front but it does look like shorts in the back. I think it will look great in pictures. I just don't think it looks that great in real life. It's like it's okay. It's not bad. I look like I'm trying a little too hard with this bow here. It comes up with a zipper so you can unzip to make it a wider entrance so you don't have to worry about shimming up the skirt. Okay, so the skirt's not bad. Let me show you a different pair of shorts that I got. This is the Floral Texture Bini Shorts. These shorts are kind of thin, like very, very thin. So it doesn't feel that great of a quality. It has an elastic waistband, but I feel like it's a little tight. This is textured ever so slightly. I mean, it's a good concept, but I wish the delivery of it was a little better. Next, we have the solid trim tassel tweed mini shorts, and these are also green. It looks very nature-esque, and it's in tweed, you guys, tweed. These are pretty thin, but it doesn't feel like it's a bad quality. These also have true pockets, if you guys did not notice. And they're pretty big pockets, you know, you guys can, can you guys see like how far down it goes? At the bottom, you can see that there is a trim here. So I'm usually afraid of these types of trims where it looks like over time, if you wash it, the little tassels down here will let loose and then your shorts will kind of ride up a little bit over time. But these are actually sewn in, so you don't have to worry about that. But what do you guys think with this top and these shorts? There's no give because it is a tweed material. Other than that, there are no buttons or anything to make it look more fancy schmancy. I'm not that crazy about these shorts. It looks good, but then it kind of cuffs at the bottom. It kind of just feels like it's like a poof down here and it just kind of goes in ever so slightly at the bottom. The color is light sea green. That's really pretty with like whitish details laced through. So it looks really nice and looks really girly and pastel like. So I really like the color. That's a shame. The next piece I will show you is a skirt and it is a little bit of a grandmother vintage feel. So let's see. Or let's not see. Oh my gosh, this is literally the worst skirt that I've ever seen ever. Does that even make sense? This is a, a terrible skirt. What the heck? <laughs> this is not even the hem. Do you guys see how uneven the hem is? It goes down like like this. <sighs> and the length of it is just way too long. I, I feel like I'm wearing a kilt. Um... Let me just go through this really quickly because I don't want to be wearing this skirt. This is the back. You can just tell how much I don't like this skirt. Oh, I really like the print of it, which is why I got it. But oh my gosh, this is terrible. And it's also fairly loose. I got all these in the same size. They're all pretty much X small, unless there's no option for an X small, I would get a small. And 
this is like it's pretty loose and it just it's way too long and I mean I guess the only thing with this is is that kind of a thicker material so it feels a little bit better but oh my gosh what is this <sighs> okay uh, I'm gonna change out this top now so let's just go into a completely new outfit I accidentally ordered two of these skirts, so this is the same brown skirt you saw earlier. Also changed it to a different top. This is the Solid Ruffled Hem Shirt Tank Top. I don't know what shirt means, but that's in the title. The sewing of the breast area here is not that flattering. It doesn't look like it was made to hold breasts. It looks like it was sewn in for the design, if that makes sense. So it's just kind of like sitting flat on top of the cloth almost. Yeah, I'm just wearing like... A glorified potato sack. This doesn't really have much stretch here but you can't put it on more easily if you unzip this side zipper down here. The bottom you see this ruffle here so it adds a little girly aspect to it but it still kind of feels like a potato sack and the back here you can see it has a little bit of a ruffle area but the thing is this part is not stretchy here but this part is. The skirt I'm like okay with it. This top is like <sighs> I don't know. I do have another piece, the last piece that I want to show you. I'll be right back. This jacket is so adorable. I think it's the best quality out of everything here. It's pretty thick and it has this texture thing that comes out of it that I feel like kind of resembles tweed but it's not actually tweed. It's also very warm and the way that it buttons up like this like a crescent moon. It's like different design and it's just new and it has a color that makes it look more delicate. It's also cropped. I think it looks nice. It's kind of tight around the shoulders. It might mean that I have broad shoulders. I don't know. I'll show you how it looks like unbuttoned. Ta-da! I still feel like it looks really good unbuttoned and it's now like two different crescent moons on either side of my torso. This looks really cute too, right? You don't have to button it all the way. This is what the back looks like. And now for Saida's review. I thought this process was interesting. It looked like another Shein website where you buy a bunch of different types of clothes that look really expensive but made at a cheaper price and thus the quality might be a little bit cheaper. And that kind of was the case in this case. <laughs> they provide a tracking number and the package gets here not too late. It's a reasonable amount of time especially for international shipments however to request a refund you have to download their app and you have to request it through there there's no other way of returning so i thought that was interesting and inconvenient but that's just how they work in terms of the design of the clothes i like the pictures a lot better in real life it wasn't as great as i thought it would be i didn't think any of these clothes were an exact hit i think the most i really like was this jacket and the tweed shorts but even then it's kind of it's okay. If you guys were curious about how cider works, I hope I gave you a good idea. Like this skirt, this was the biggest disappointment ever. I, I was very disappointed about that. <laughs> but I'm glad I was able to try out a new retail site for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any other interest in other retail sites and I'll try to check them out. I just really like that I can explore these different places and we can see what's good and what's not and what's worth our money and what's worth our time, most importantly. But otherwise, I hope you guys had a great time with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!